Start. Call to order. This is the 18th regular meeting of the 2009-2010 Common Council. And as is customary, our city clerk, Sue Richards, will give us the quote of the evening. Thank you, Mayor. May the spirit of the holidays bring you peace. May the gladness of the holidays give you hope. May the warmth of the holidays grant you love. Thank you, Sue. Roll call, please. Born here. Balk here. Bowers here. Decker here. Gisha here. Hannah here. Heidemann here. Koth here. Kittleson here. Kleunis excused Montemayor here. Rinfleisch here. Zurich excused Vanderweel here. Vu here. and Wangaman here. fourteen present. We have a quorum now. Alderman Bourne will join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Jim. Uh, approval of the minutes. Motion and a second to approve the minutes of the prior Common Council meeting. Under discussion? No discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Resignations, Attorney McLean. Uh, there's a uh, email from Perry Brugink advising that uh, you can no longer continue being on the Housing Authority Board. For a motion to accept and file? Mo motion to accept and file. Second. Have a motion and a second under discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Mayor's appointments. Hereby submit the following appointment for your confirmation. Alderperson Joseph Heideman to be considered for appointment as chairman of the Salary and Grievance Committee to replace Alderman Corey Bauck as chairman, whose term expires on 4-19-2010, signed by the mayor. President Kisha. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm going to ask, please, for a the rules. Sign this, please. We have a motion and a second to suspend the rules. Is anybody opposed? Rules are suspended. Your Honor, I ask that uh, that we uh, we accept uh, this change and appoint Joe Heidemann as uh, chairman of salary and grievance. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. No discussion. Roll call, please. Boren. Aye. Balk. Aye. Bowers. Aye. Decker. Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. And Wangaman? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. Other appointments? Hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Henry Nelson to be considered for appointment to the Library Board to fill the unexpired term of Maryland Table, whose term expires 4-30-2011, signed by the Mayor. That lies over. Anna Shane to be considered for appointment to the Mayor's International Committee to fill the unexpired term of Willie Scharrer, whose term expires 4-30-2010. And Don Silvis to be considered for appointment to the Mayor's International Committee to fill the unexpired term of Kevin Graytons, whose term expires 4-30-2010. Signed by the Mayor. We are looking for a confirmation. So moved. Second. Motion and a second to confirm. Under discussion? No discussion. Roll call, please. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Gisha? Here. Hannah? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Did you say here? <laughs> it's been a long week and it's only Monday. Okay. <laughs> Heidemann? Aye. Kopp? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. And Boren? Aye. 14 ayes and one here. 13 ayes and one here. 13 ayes, one here. Motion carries. <laughs> and then um, we do not have any public forum. Oh, we have more. Excuse me. Attorney McLean. Thank you, Your Honor. There's one more packet. Uh, it's for the uh, approval of the list of nominations for election inspectors for all elections in 2010 and 2011. And I believe all the aldermen have the, the list. Uh, motion to approve. Second. We have a motion to confirm and a second under discussion. No discussion. Roll call, please. Bowers. Aye. Decker. Aye. Gisha. Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. 
Montemayor? Aye. Rinsleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. And Balk? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. We have no public forum this evening. Under mayor's announcements, um, I, it is, we are coming into uh, the Christmas season here, and on behalf of uh, myself, my family, I'm sure the entire Common Council and all the employees of the City of Sheboygan, I wish everybody happy holidays, a Merry Christmas, and a safe and happy New Year. We're looking forward to 2010 and many future years here. President Gisha. Mayor Ryan, on behalf of the Common Council, we'd like to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year as well to uh, our city officials, those elected and non-elected, the department heads that I know you've worked very closely with in a very difficult budget, difficult time. And uh, on behalf of the Council, we'd like to extend our gratitude and our hopes for a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. Okay, the uh, consent agenda. President Kisha. Thank you, Your Honor. I move to uh, accept and file all the reports of officers, accept and adopt all the reports of committees, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Okay, this is 1818, or 18... One. One. Through 1818. Through 1818. <laughs> um, I would just like to speak a bit on 18... 16, if I may, I'm not pulling this off the consent agenda, but uh, on 1816, this is the industrial revenue bond for Roundies Incorporated. They are rebuilding their store on the north side. Um, we greatly appreciate them uh, investing in our community once again and building a new store. And uh, we, are, we are glad to help them out with the industrial revenue bond. I understand that Roundies already has a general contractor for their job in Sheboygan. It is not a, a local general contractor and that is their decision. However, on all construction jobs, um, there are a lot of subcontractors hired, and I would uh, urge Roundy's Corporation to hire as many local subcontractors as possible. We have a 25% plus unemployment rate in the constru construction industry in the city. We have a lot of qualified people ready to go to work, and we urge them to hire some local firm contract work. We have Alderman Bowers. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, just a question regarding 1814, 1815, if you could just elaborate a little bit on this so that it, I rega it's in regards to a neighborhood. Are these certain neighborhoods in the city or uh, is every neighborhood eligible for these grants? Um, I believe this went through, uh, this is a NARSA grant. Mm -hmm. Would uh, Paulette, you like to speak on that or Chad? Our Director of Development, Paulette Ender, is going to say a couple words on this grant. Thank you, Mayor and Common Council. It's not a, a citywide, it's a neighborhood revitalization strategy area, and it's essentially, and I won't get it exactly right, but it's, it's just south of Erie, and then it goes up to Superior, and then it's about 9th to over to... 18th Street and so those are the areas that are eligible for this funding it was approved it was a long process we went through and approved by HUD someday we're hoping to have another strategy area but for the moment we just have this one and, and this was a result I believe of the neighborhood surveys that we did yes um, and input two summers ago I know Alder Alderperson Montemayor mm -hmm. and Alderman Hanna participated on that and we Went around and looked for the areas most in need. I believe Alderperson Kittleson was there, um, and uh, this is the result of it. And then, and lighting was one of the topics that came up. That, um, along with the police department, increased lighting was recommended in order to reduce crimes in certain uh, blocks and neighborhoods. Thank you, Paulette. Does that answer your question, Alderman? Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Born? Aye. Balk? Aye. And Bowers? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion 
Communications and Petitions, 1819 to 1828, to be referred. Reports of Officers 2, 1829 through 1833, to be referred. Resolutions introduced 3, 1834, by Alderpersons Kittleson, Balk, Gisha, Kath, and Heidemann. Lifting the hiring freeze in order to hire a temp to, to hire temporary help in human resources. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. I would ask uh, for but to uh, for a motion to put the resolution upon its passage, please. Second. Suspend. Uh, actually, first we need to suspend the rules. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Can we? Uh, we ha have a motion, motion to suspend the rules right. in a second. Right. Under discussion on suspending the rules. Alderman yes. Rinfleisch? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm just looking for an explanation for the reason for Absolutely. suspension this time. Alderperson Kittleson? Because the uh, reason we're suspending the rules is we do have a person in the HR department working now under the Schedule X uh, uh, that we have for extra help that is this administrative type uh, work that is being done there. Um, however, we were not following the proper pay schedule for this employee. The proper pay schedule is the Schedule X and um, that we, we passed as a council and we need to get back on that schedule so that we can pay this person who's working in that office, I believe, temporarily, uh, but so we can pay her properly. That's what we need right. to Right, now do. I believe that it was approved. But did it come through council at the other? It came through council at $10 an hour. Correct. However, our Schedule X employees right. are all slated for $11 an hour. Exactly. Exactly. So that is all we're doing here. It's already been confirmed by council one time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alderman Bob. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And I just point out that this is a, a great rate. This person is a right. Schedule X employee. There's no health benefits. It's much cheaper than if we had sought out a, a manpower or something to help find us a person. Tom Rice did a great job of finding the right person, and uh, 11 bucks an hour is a, a, a good rate. I agree. Thank you, Alderman Bob. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? On suspension of the rules only, anybody opposed? Nobody, rules are suspended. Okay, then I'd make a motion to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage. Discussion? <coughs> no discussion? It's roll call. Mm -hmm. Roll call, please. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? No. And Decker? Aye. 13 ayes, 1 no. Motion carries. 1835 and 36 lies over. 1837 and 38 to be referred. Report of Committee 6. 18-39, by law and licensing, recommending acceptance that taxi cab driver's license application number 8434 was withdrawn on December 15th as requested by the applicant. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the report of the committee be accepted and adopted. Second. We have a motion and a, sec <coughs> and a second to accept and adopt. Under discussion. Under discussion, Mayor, uh, Isaac Villarreal uh, withdrew his application because he had uh, two felony convictions uh, related to the licensed activity. Very good, Alderman Boren. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Report of Committee 7, 18-40 to be referred. <coughs> Ordinance introduced 10, 18-41. To be referred, matters laid over 11, 1767, RC number 3430910 by Committee of the Whole, who met and discussed establishing the Government Structure Committee and recommends that the Government Structure Committee be established. Who would like this one? Alderman Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion we accept and adopt the report of committee. We have a motion and a second. Under discussion? I would also like to, uh, to add that uh, I believe the committee has to be reappointed by uh, what the procedure is by the mayor. And uh, my hope would be that uh, it would be reappointed as soon as possible. The idea is to have the parallel track, this committee reestablishing, and then the um, 
Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee, which is made up of all the standing committee chairs uh, on a parallel track, basically one short-term and one long-term uh, strategy. Very good. Alder Mayor Redflesh. Thank you. Um, my question was, I was looking at writing or bringing in basically this, a very similar document to what we established it in the first place about a year ago. Um, but if we don't necessarily need to do that, uh, I'd ask that uh, I, the people that I am aware of that were the public that were on that committee, I think did an excellent job last time around. I would urge you to uh, reconsider them as well for that committee. We'll take that into account. Thank you. Thank you. Attorney McLean. Yes, I guess it would my, be my suggestion that you do bring in uh, Alderman Rinfleisch a document creating the committee and setting forth, I think the last time there was a term a definite term for it to submit a report and then it, it expired after that. And uh, I think it would be good to have those parameters and who, uh, who you want on the committee and, and also uh, the subject matter to be discussed. I know uh, the last time uh, I think there were a couple items on there and one of those was sort of deferred and so, so I don't know if you still wanna discuss that under this new committee or not, but I think it'd be preferable to have a document creating the committee and establishing kind of the parameters for it. Alderman Redflesh. Thank you. Um, I, I think in retrospect, I agree. Uh, while I was previously the chair of that committee, there is no chairperson of the committee necessarily. Is it appropriate for me to write one as just a member of the council or, sure. you know, Technically, it's not me, so I'd be happy to do so, but it's just a matter of not stepping sure, in. We'll, we'll let you write it up, and if we don't agree with it, you won't be the chair. <laughs> 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 <That'll work. laughs> I was being facetious there. You can, you're more than welcome to write it up. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Falk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. And Gisha? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries 17 75, resolution number 140 09 10 by Alder Anna Bowers, Montemayor, and Vanderweel, directing a public hearing in connection with the change in the city's zoning map for property located at 2021 North Avenue. Alderman Hanna? Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second. It's under discussion. No discussion. Roll call, please. We can do it all. Let's skip the roll call. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Other matters authorized by law. 18-42 will be referred to Public Works. 18-43, an RC by... Law and licensing recommending entering into a stipulation at the request of the owners of the 12th Parallel Incorporated to accommodate the health concerns of the corporate president and primary stockholder. Looking for a resolution to accept and adopt. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. I move that the uh, uh, report of the committee be accepted and adopted. Second. We have a motion and a second. Under discussion? No discussion. Roll call, please. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Uh, Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangavin? Aye. Boren? Aye. Falk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. <clears throat> Excuse me, Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. And Hannah? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters? Attorney McLean. Thank you, Your Honor. 1844 is communication from Steve Scharr regarding suggestions for the School Avenue closing request for the Mission of Mercy Dental Clinic to be held in 2010. Is that being referred to? Here. I have the wrong Take stack. <laughs> they gave me the wrong stack. 1844, that's going to PPS. 1845 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2010 and June 30, 2011. That will go to law and licensing. 1846 is an RO by the city clerk submitting an application from Christopher Gable for a waiver from the sex offender residency uh, restrictions. That will go to Alderman Hanna and Public Protection and Safety.
1847 is an RO by the library director uh, with reference to advising that the, at the December 17, 2009 Mead Public Library Board meeting, it approved the reserve fund and library transfer agreement as reviewed and revised by the city attorney and attached to this report. And that will go to finance. We have a motion to adjourn. In a second, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned. Merry Christmas, everyone.